The workshop brought together journalists and reporters from various media houses in Papua New Guinea. The aim, to refresh and revitalize news gathering practices to ensure quality, fair and just reporting. So we're all here to do a, it's what's called the Fundamentals of Quality Journalism Workshop where we're trying to give training to a range of journalists from around the country but also young journalists uh, all the way up to very experienced veteran journalists training in some of the fundamentals of journalism, things like accuracy, balance, impartiality, to try and give them more skills uh, to do their jobs better essentially. Because we know the important place that uh, the media has in a democracy like PNG and we want the journalists here to be able to do their jobs as best they can. Those in attendance participated in discussion, sharing of personal experiences through their work and activities specific to PNG's media code of ethics. Um, we've learned a lot, um, uh, especially on being fair, balancing out stories, um, the roadblocks that we face in terms of getting information and um, we uh, find solutions to that, uh, find a way around how to get information from, especially from government ads when we're doing stories in relation to the government. Deputy Prime Minister David Stephen, who stopped by the workshop on Friday, said the key to developing and strengthening the relationship between the media and the government is to come back and dialogue. This way, both parties can understand the essence of the fundamental roles each one plays in society. This workshop is timely. Remind yourselves of your duties. My, my coming here is also to underpin the fact that government needs a vibrant, ethical and fearless media today more than ever. The Deputy Prime Minister also stated that he'd like to see more investments for professionals in the media through journalism workshops just like this one in the future. What is now needed? is to rewrite that, rewrite that uh, policy action plan and include a government commitment to a vibrant, independent, robust, fearless media and journalism. But I won't do that until I am assured on behalf of our people that there's enough leaders in the journalism profession that truly appreciate that this is all about people, nation building. It's about maintaining a nation, a society that's so diverse by a rule of law, a principle of law made in the Declaration of Independence. Helen Sayer, National MTV News.